you know, I get tired. You know, I, I thought, you know, I was going to be like, you know what? I thought I was going to be tired of doing these videos. But actually seeing some of the results, I'm not. I'm not. I'm glad that these people are starting to do the right thing. Uh, so, for me, I have this video that we're going to do today. And it specifically deals with a customer who ordered a demon. A matching numbers demon. Because they already have a a previous generation demon. So that's, uh, if you know what numbers matching means, it means the VIN numbers match. But these geniuses in California, Turlock, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, y'all not too smart. Today we're gonna talk about what this dealership is tr attempting to do. And then we're gonna talk about the contract that they make you sign when you order this car. See, I don't think anybody really talks about that. This dealer, this Turlock Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, they're violating the Stellantis slash Dodge Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram terms of service by attempting to have this customer pay 70K over sticker when that had nothing to do with ordering the car or the original deal. Roll the intro. Before we get into the video today, guys, today's video is being brought to you by Morgan & Morgan Attorneys at Law. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney, size matters. It's not just a joke that ladies will tell you, but it's a fact. Um, ha, but no, seriously, all jokes aside, size matters. If you're going to war with Geico, and State Farm, and insert insurance company here, all right? and you wanna have the best representation, you wanna have a lawyer that has deep enough pockets to go to war for you, Morgan & Morgan, size matters. Largest personal injury law firm, not just in the United States, in the world. You can get started on your cell phone, eight clicks or less, forthepeople.com forward slash TK's garage, for the, forthepeople.com forward slash TK's garage. My brain, ugh. I appreciate them for sponsoring us and letting us do what we do to try to right some of these wrongs. All right, so I don't, I don't know if I want to use people's actual names, so we'll just say customer A, all right? Customer Alpha orders a numbers matching Dodge Demon 170 from Turlock Chrysler Do Dodge Jeep Ram in Turlock, California. Orders a vehicle. Everything's good. They're giving, telling, telling the customer when it's coming in. They let her know, hey, it's on the way. Hey, it's on the truck. Here's the lot. They're keeping the updates going. They let them know when it gets there. When it gets there, the customer is excited. The customer had to do the same contract that I did when I ordered the Demon 170. Let me show you what that looks like, and we can read it together. And then you can tell me whether or not the deal is wrong because you dumbass, imbecile, slow, window licking motherfuckers that keep defending these dealers, either you work there or your IQ's under 40. Roll it. Now these vary by state, but I just want to go over a few of the points here. Purchase price. Dealer agrees to sell and buyer agrees to buy the demon for MSRP. Herein, after the purchase price, buyer specifically understands and agrees that the buyer will be obligated to pay dealer the full MSRP for the demon at the time of delivery, plus any incidental charges or any products or services that were requested, requested 
by the buyer, regardless of any amount paid, um, as an order fee under the agreement. So here's the thing. They have different things in Dodge. Now, they had what the order fee was, was they had an addendum that allowed them to charge like a $599 fee, very similar to like a dock and stamp fee that they do with different um, purchases. If you ever purchase a car from a dealer, you always see that document fee. It's a bullshit garbage fee, okay? It doesn't mean shit. Every dealer does it. Um, anyways, so you can go ahead and go back over and read this, but this is a this is very similar to what this customer would have had to sign in California and them trying to charge 70000 over sticker when you already have an agreement with Dodge and this customer not to do so. So as you can see in no uncertain terms, Dodge made it very clear. In order for the vehicle to be ordered, it had to be agreed to be ordered at and sold at MS motherfucking RP. Manufactured suggested retail price. Not bend over, grab your ankles. I'm going to rail you in the ass MSRP. MSRP, okay? Not Turlock's owner needs a hand job from the local massage spot price msrp okay not i have a serious drug problem like a president's son and need extra money for it no msrp this is the issue and i don't understand i don't understand how these dealers are not getting this yet from them trying to sell racer x a hundred thousand dollar lug nuts do you know what I, I don't know if you've seen this video. There's a video on the internet. I'm not even going to put it in here because somebody will say that it's disrespectful or, or not cool for me to put it in here, whatever. But if you just want to laugh, Google Nipsey Hustle slaps the shit out of security guard. Just Google that. Watch that video. Matter of fact, they even got videos of it in slow motion. When I tell you, when I ordered mine, when I ordered my demon, when mine comes off the truck, if they were telling me, hey, TK, we're going to need you to pay another 80K or 50K or whatever over sticker. When I tell you I'm going to reach back for Jesus and I'm going to slap the dog shit out of whoever that is in front of me that says that, I mean that shit. Try Jesus, not me. Cause I throw hands. Now I know some of us say, TK, why do you have to do that, man? Better go try Jesus. I didn't stutter. Better try Jesus. Don't try me. I throw hands. So anyways, I'm putting out this dealer's information because, again, now, full disclosure, Butter the Insider, again, is on tip top with this. I saw he had posted via Instagram and I was like, let me go ahead and get this video done and load it up in queue because, you know, he's like, this customer is going to get a phone call in the morning. And as soon as Butter did the Instagram post, the dealer went, oh, oh, but you could tag, they're on Instagram. You feel free to tag them. Feel free to, to, to send them that we did the video. Cause here's the thing for me, when you're violating the terms of services for Dodge. So here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm literally at a point and I'm going to tell you like some other crazy shit. So after I do the video about the Antioch uh, dealership trying to sell these demons for $350,000, these dumbasses down there, somebody from Stellantis reaches out to me and I didn't, I thought somebody had spoofed the email address. I thought it was bogus, right? And it's like, do you got time for a phone call? Of course, I always got time for a phone call. As long as you don't have a problem with me recording the phone call, because I don't know what kind of frog and ogle bullshit's going to go on here right now. So, uh, anyways, I get the phone call. I take the phone call. And we're talking for like 20 minutes and about what I did when I was working with Stellantis just 18 months ago um, on a program that is now called The Banshee. Anyways, 
So we're um, having this conversation and they're like, I want to put you in contact with this person so that when you come across these dealers that are violating their terms of service, you could, they're not telling me not to do the videos, but like you could also email us and we can also send them an email to motivate them in the right direction. So here's what they explained to me. They have a database now at Stellantis, at Dodge, of all of these dealers that did straw buying. And if you didn't think Dodge was paying attention when the GMs at Antioch were ordering cars in their own names, or, you know, dealers like this genius at Turlock Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram um, in Turlock, California, they're not paying attention. They are. Um, not only are they paying attention, several state attorney generals have reached out to Dodge directly because they want Dodge's records to know who violated contracts, terms, and conditions and may or may not have committed fraud by violating these contracts that I had to sign when I ordered it and the dealer had to sign when they put in the order. So, Look, I'm just a third-rate YouTuber, according to some people, right? I know me and Butter heard the same thing. We're just third-rate YouTubers, right? We're not members of the media or any of that. I'm worse. I'm worse than the media. The media is just going to ask you questions. I'm petty as fuck. I'm so much more worse than the media. <laughs> So, to the uh, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealership that is out here doing this uh, quote-unquote bullshit, Turlock, I hope that when you see this video, you do the right thing. I hope, I hope you put a Facebook post out. I hope you post on your Instagram that this was a misunderstanding and you sell, sell that lady, that demon, at the price that you contractually agreed to with Dodge and your customer, and you do it. Because you know what else these dealers are about to find out really hard? You know, I mention, I mention my sponsors in every video, right? And I can tell you right now that there's several law firms looking at the Demon 170 situation that are considering class action lawsuits. Not for Dodge, going after the dealership groups individually in their states. They're just determining, do we hit them with a nationwide thing or, or do we go state by state? So I would advise you to do the right thing because the 70 grand that you're going to make over sticker to sell that demon to that customer is um, nothing in the the money you're going to spend in repairing your reputation on the internet, uh, customers you're going to lose because when people Google to see how you treat customers and I, I listen to your cute little jingle that you have on the internet. Oh my God. Oh, uh, listen, this little jingle that they have. Oh, uh, it just warmed my little heart. I heard this today. <laughs> service with a smile and we fuck you all the time like no man that's hilarious <laughs> y'all <laughs> y'all wouldn't have had a jingle made huh oh i'm gonna have some fun with that any of my people that do music shoot me an email or send me a dm i'll send you that or you can go to their instagram <laughs> turlock they've already limited their comments did you notice that Oh yeah. When you go to their when you go to their comments now, every post, the comments are limited. Why do you think that is? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And uh let's hope that Turlock Chrysler Dodge Deep Ram does the right thing cuz uh I'm only in Vegas. I mean it's only a few hours for me. I can come out there in the M5. I could come out there in, in the scat or, you know, I could just catch a flight and rent something. I could be there really quickly. So 
Let's see what happens. Ball's in their court. 